Hello and welcome to the video. This is a first look and overview of a new updated radio from Hobby King. This is the Turnigy Evolution Pro. It's a game controller style radio. And for those of you that have been watching the channel for a long time, you will be looking at this thinking, hang on a minute, we've seen this before. This is the updated version of the Turnigy Evolution that I first looked at in October 2016. And it's a great inexpensive radio for multi-rotor pilots in particular who want that kind of game style controller. It's super portable and it's relatively easy to set up. In fact, I have a little playlist on it to show you how everything works. Now, the original Turnigy Evolution was something that I'm a big fan of. In fact, mine is still here. Came with a cover, but there are a couple of differences between this original one and the Evolution Pro that we're going to look at in the video. Because the plastics have changed, at first glance it appears that the enclosure is exactly the same, but they have changed a little bit. So the cover that fits on this Evolution will not fit on the Evolution Pro. And what they've done is they've changed the layout a little bit to make it more accessible for pinches. So let me talk a little bit about some of the things that have changed and the specs while I unbox it. So the box it comes in is very reminiscent of the original Evolution. So they haven't spent lots and lots of money on expensive packaging here. All the money is in the radio, which I don't mind at all. It's going to be available in different modes and also in black and white plastics. Protocol is FHSS, 8-channel radio. It also will support fixed wing, hexcopter and other things as well. Although the lack of trim tabs do make fixed wings a little bit trickier to fly. Pulling out the clamshell, we have the manual at the top that goes through the basic settings. And then in the clamshell, we have the radio. This time, it doesn't come with the cover. The cover is available separately, I understand. So I would always recommend, if you're going to get one of these, buy the cover because it makes it great to just pop in your backpack and it protects the gimbals. Comes with a receiver. This is one of the Turnigy IA six C's. Uh, so that's fine for something like a multi-rotor. You get a USB cable to plug it into your computer and it looks very similar to that evolution that we've just looked at. But let me just grab it and put it side by side. Um, hopefully you can see here that the screen uh, plastics have changed. The screen has actually moved a little bit further away from the sticks so that pinchers can get to them. The controls have changed as well. You can see that the rotary control has disappeared and the momentary switch is now at the bottom. That's useful for pre-arming things like beta flight. And we have the power button at the top. At the back, we have the same switches to control things like flight modes and arming as well. So this is really perfect for things like beta flight or iNav flight powered quadcopters. USB port on the side, so you can use this really nicely as a simulator joystick as well. You just plug that in. It also has an inbuilt rechargeable battery that's recharged through that USB port. Powering it up feels very, very similar to the original Evolution. You can see we have the touch screen. You can access all the different timers. Clicking on the little icon gives you access to the menu. You can change all the things in here again there's a complete playlist for how all this stuff is set up you can change how the haptic control works you can change the menus you can turn the leds on and off because again they uh, they glow there's a pre-arm button at the bottom and all in all it feels a nice solid little radio and if you're coming from things like xbox or you're comfortable with playstation controllers then this is going to feel really natural in your hands the gimbals also feel a little bit nicer as well. Compared to the original, it feels like they've put a little bit of work into improving those too. So all in all, it's an, it is a definite improvement. To be honest, I never used the rotary control on the original Evolution. It might have come in useful for things like vector flight controllers, or maybe if you put a stabilizer in a plane, you can use it for remote gain. But to be honest, you don't tend to use rotary controls in multi-rotors. And I think this is really where this radio shines if you use it with a model like that. There is an increase in the number of model memories in here. The original Evolution only had five model memories. And that, I think, was because the radio firmware that it was based on, the FlySky technology, was a five model radio as well. And it always, to me, seemed a bit crazy because surely model memories don't take up that much space. 
in this new version it's increased to 20 so this is going to be a much more useful radio if you have a fleet of little models or you maybe want to have your tiny whoops and your quadcopters and maybe even a simple glider or something that you want to have a crack out with this radio too you can add them all on so big thumbs up to hobby king for taking care of that one of the other things I've noticed is plugging it into the computer with the USB port automatically disables the onboard RF as well. So using it as a PC joystick means that the battery lasts an awful lot longer because I guess it's been charged as well. But it's little tricks like that that also show that it's been thought about. In the menus, you'll now find things like range tests, haptic feedback, uh, user accessible stick calibration. It's got a louder buzzer and the battery uh, can be displayed as an either an icon to show you how full the battery is or as a discrete value. There is that momentary button at the bottom as well as a lanyard loop in the middle of the radio which I think is a great addition because things like the FR Sky X Lite don't have a lanyard loop on it and for those guys who like to have it around their neck then it gets complicated trying to figure out how to connect that to a lanyard. You can adjust the sticks in the menu between the different modes, but I'd just recommend actually buying the mode that you want from the Hobby King website. The receiver that comes with the radio is already pre-bound, so it's just a case of plugging it in and doing the setup on the radio. One of the other cool things that's on here that was on the original Evolution is the flight modes where you can set up a couple of different flight modes on a switch and those can even be given names so as you flick through them on the display you can see which mode you're in. So typically you maybe have, I don't know, angle, horizon and rate mode and you can select the PWM value that you want. You can even combine the two sticks on the back of the radio to have a six position mode switch. So if you're using a flight controller that has an awful lot of options or maybe you have something like INAM have in your multi-rotor and you want to have you know angle horizon uh, rate mode you want to have gps loiter gps return to home uh, you can set all that up within the radio and have all that information displayed on the screen a couple of things to be aware of in the changes from the original evolution to this new evolution pro the loss of the two position switch and the rotary switch has gone it's now a momentary switch and a lanyard loop in its place to be honest, with the pre-arm button that you use for something like beta flight, it's going to be more useful with modern flight control software anyway. Still not brilliant for planes, so there isn't any way to easily trim it on the radio. I have used it with planes, but it isn't as intuitive. If you're looking to do a lot of fixed wing stuff, then I would probably look at another radio. If you're going to get one of these for multi-rotors, then I would actually get some of the smaller compatible receivers, particularly the A8S receiver from Hobby King. These are very small and perfect for multi-rotor use. And I'm surprised that that isn't the receiver that's in the box with this, as it really is aimed at multi-rotor pilots. But if you're going to get one, order yourself one of the covers and order yourself a couple of spare receivers to use which, whichever quads you're going to build or fly. And the last thing to be aware of is there isn't any removable battery, so always make sure that you plug it in before you take it to the field so it's got a nice full charge. You'll get a nice day's worth of flying out the radio without too much trouble at all. So in summary, this is a really nice addition and an update to the original Turnigy Evolution. The Turnigy Evolution was one of my picks and I really liked the radio. And the lack of updates to it did start to feel that that was a concept that Hobby King has moved away from. So I'm pleased to see that this radio has come out and I'm looking forward to other radios in this class. Because for many pilots, OpenTX is simply too complicated and a lot of radios out there are just too expensive. This provides a great first radio if you're getting into multi-rotors and want to get started without breaking the bank and have all the things you need without all the stuff you don't want. Now, I was lucky enough to get two of these, so one of them is still in its wrapping and needs to find a new home, so I'm going to do a giveaway. So, if you would like to be in with a chance of trying out this brand new radio from Hobby King, then do three things. First of all, make sure you're a subscriber to the channel. If you're already subscribed, don't worry. Secondly, leave a like on this video. And thirdly, leave a comment. And I'll use a random comment picker to pick a winner from all those who left a comment. Good luck to everybody, and happy flying. 
Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.